Modern submarines are incredible pieces of engineering, and they're designed to stay underwater for a super long time, sometimes even months. So, a submarine's most critical system is being able to make its own air. Unlike older subs that had to pop up to the surface a lot to get fresh air, modern ones have these really smart self-contained systems that do everything. This is how they can stay hidden and active for so long. The main way a sub gets oxygen is through a cool process called electrolysis. It's pretty neat. They use the sub's massive electrical power to basically zap water and split it into hydrogen and oxygen. First, they purify seawater to get rid of all the salty stuff. Then, they send that clean water into a special machine that uses electricity. The machine separates the hydrogen, which gets safely pushed out into the ocean, and the oxygen, which gets released right into the sub's air. Since nuclear subs have tons of power, they can make as much oxygen as they need forever. Even with that awesome main system, submarines have a super important backup plan, chemical oxygen generators, or oxygen candles. These things are just what they sound like, cylinders filled with chemicals, usually including sodium chlorate and iron powder. When you light one up, it creates a hot chemical reaction that releases a steady stream of oxygen. They're a perfect non-electric fail-safe option for emergencies or if the main generator ever has an issue. Just know that they get really hot and need to be handled carefully. Besides making oxygen, subs also have to get rid of the yucky stuff we breathe out, especially carbon dioxide. To stop it from building up and becoming dangerous, they use something called scrubbers. The most common type is an electric one that uses a special solution called monoethanolamine to soak up the carbon dioxide from the air. The sub can then heat the solution to release the overboard and reuse the solution. Pretty smart, right? And for an extra layer of safety, most submarines also carry canisters of lithium hydroxide. This chemical reacts directly with the carbon dioxide, essentially scrubbing it out of the air without needing any electricity at all. These canisters are a simple, passive way to clean the air, which makes them perfect for an emergency like a power outage. 